Previously on T-Man 978. This costs 60 bucks, so yeah, I'm not getting this. T-Man 978, chill review. This is why everybody calls me the bot guy, even though I review every single thing. But I'm going to review him first because I'm most interested in him. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I am reviewing Transformers Earthrise Run Amok. There's his artwork. Here's the crap on the back. Here's that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Run Amok. Not to be confused with Runabout, who is currently a Target exclusive that I'm going to get tons of comments telling me that I'm never going to find this. Oh, woe is me. And then I'll go to the store and see the thing a hundred times. But anywho, here is his face. Eyes are purple. The mouth looks like that. He has a faux chest, thank goodness. He has a grin on his crotch. <laughs> He has a lot of paint for this to be a white figure. They put white paint on top of, well, this had to be painted because that's translucent black. But this is actually white plastic. That's what he looks like from the back. You see his real chest back there with some spine or just internal details that you'll see better in vehicle, excuse me, in vehicle mode, to be honest. And yeah, I like those shoulder column things. Sort of makes me think these are car seekers. He has ports right there instead of on the side of the bicep, on the side of his shoulders like they normally would do. So, yeah. Stand port. Articulation. Head is on a ball joint that only looks up about that much. It can tilt not so much and of course rotate. The shoulders do this. There's no butterfly action, and they rotate like that. So one complainer, it's sort of like the Transformers Red Megatron I was complaining about, where you have to lift the arm up and then rotate it like that to get outward motion at an angle. Elbows bend 90 degrees and rotate at the bicep. Wrists just go in, rotate here. He has a lot of motion upward. Not so much back, it's like perfectly molded so it can stop right there. Go outward. Does this. Bend right there. That joint is tight. And you can separate the connection to give them 90 degrees, but then the knees look like that. Ankle pivot. Foot goes all the way back due to transformation. And this moves up and down a bit. I believe it's supposed to be down for robot mode. I can't even make that move. <laughs> there we go. But there you are. So he's posable. And here is what the gun is looking like. I hate reviewing black and white figures. I can never choose which background to use. And it has a port back there. Here are three deluxe classes, random from Earthrise, and a Voyager class. There you are. He's a big, tall deluxe class. Transformation. Kind of easy. Take that out the hand. Flip the hands into the holes right there. Go ahead and put the feet together. The tabs are very stiff. You'll probably have to adjust them. We might as well rotate the whole body like that. Now... Bend the knees into here. Like, it's going to take some effort to get that down. And go ahead and shut this. And it's going to take effort, as you saw earlier, for me for you to push that up into there. But basically, get that in there very tightly. Now, we can lift this off of here. And then lift this up off the back like that pull the chest forward shove the head down into that cavity and shut that don't reverse it take the arms and angle them this way and push them up here 
Now there are pegs on the, the shin right there that goes up into his cuffs of his hand. Kind of angle this down so that the gold pattern will match. Shift this forward. There are two tab ports right there that this pegs into. You may have to squeeze it in order to get it in on both sides. This thing. Pull. Damn it. That never happened before I started filming. Pull the wheel off like that. Find the wheel on the floor every single time I do a review, I swear. I always drop some little tiny piece in the floor that makes me have to search. Anywho, rotate. Try to make sure this is staying there. But rotate this down and that'll shift in the police. Make sure everything is still lined up. Squeeze everything. And now here you are with a sports car. I don't remember what kind of car they were originally, but this is reminiscent of the G1 toy, even the backpack. I've been waiting years, years for them to come out with a good version of Runabout and Runamuck that actually had arms and legs because <laughs> the originals were just, they were a gimmick. That's why he had that long heel thing. I forgot to mention that. Because the wheels were still in the same place, but the body shot up and he barely had any legs. It was like an auto-transforming gimmick. But, as you can see, all of, damn near the whole outer shell. In fact, yeah, the whole outer shell of the car is painted. All the whites you see, besides maybe, maybe this part, is painted white. The Both rims are painted white. They don't have that ugly clip-on thingy. I like the gold trim. I like the gold right there. And I like that they did paint the tail lights. Because sometimes they leave that out. Maybe this could have been silver. But I, I don't mind. I like them. I like it a lot. It feels substantial. You can port the gun on top of course. Right here. And the thing. If you don't turn that head the wrong way. It rolls rather nicely. And now I need to transform something. All right, here are some Studio Series Deluxe Class cars. He's a little bit longer because they are known to be, well, Bumblebee is super close, but these are known to be too small Autobots. And here is Sideswipe. Damn there, everybody should have the Sideswipe mold at this point. The thing was released several, several times over. Pretty much the same size. I pre-ordered Runamuck, I mean Runabout, and, um... Yeah, can't wait to get that. I was even able to get the discount because they were like, if you order um, 50, was it $50? You get 10 off. So I added, because you know how they make everything 49 or 39.99 or 19.99. I had to add something that cost a dollar. So you might see a review for a beach ball scene. Anywho, I really like the robot mode besides the fact that the head can't look up too much, and I, I hate when a figure has the ability to kick up more than 90 degrees and has good articulation for in the knees, but they can't look up to accommodate. I mean, you can't look up to accommodate for the poses that you can do. And the shoulder articulation, don't. I'm not a super duper fan of that. Other than that, this is a substantial deluxe class figure at least i feel like it's substantial it's well made and I, it makes me happy it doesn't feel cheap or anything and they painted it a lot so i knew the car is great too you see how nice it rolls we and it looks good so thank y'all for watching this video until next time t-man 978 out of here hey t-man 978 t-man 978
you should click those videos. Click that shit.